Well, of course, yeah, Crystal Palace having scored seven just a couple of weeks ago and Chelsea having scored eight already twice this season. Last minute equaliser for Palace last time out, so it should be exciting, although the kind of curse of the commentator says we'll get a nil-nil no. draw now, isn't it? But Here we go. Chelsea kick off. Webster does feed the left-hand side and now Thomas. Haig on the edge of the box. Instead, it goes in towards the area to Stutter, who turns and shoots. Did well to get a shot away, but wide once again. Good technique. Four men in the Palace wall. It's quite a big wall for Palace. In fact, it's five men now. But Haig will likely shake, shape up to shoot. He does shoot. It's off the crossbar. And it falls to a Palace body in Dylan Thistleton, who's able to clear it away. Chelsea have bodies forward, don't they, to pressure the ball wherever it goes. In fact, Brookings won the header there. Adramola just cooks it away from Haig, but Haig's found space in the box now, pulls it back towards Thomas, picked up by Webster on the edge of the area. Webster makes space for the shot, shoots, and this one comes off the outside of the post, and Chelsea hit the woodwork for the second time in almost as many minutes. Keen to protect the keeper, aren't they, as the delivery comes in. It's almost met at the far post by Dan Quick. It's headed away. Falls for Gonzalez on the edge of the box. He tries to turn, but it's crowded out. Almost wins it back there, and Sheridan manages to play it through towards Omilabu. Flicks it over the head of the defender, shoots, Get in. and it's gone all the way in. <laughs> and Crystal Palace <laughs> take the lead, and what a goal it is in the end from David Omilabu. Well done. Well done. Kept it alive. It's a good one into the penalty, into the penalty box. It's headed just up in the air. Now it's anybody's. What you have to do is don't foul. Keeps it alive there. Kevin Gonzalez, I think it was. We got a little bit lucky here. Great little ball back in from Joe. And David, juddling. The goalkeeper gets a good hand on it as well. Yeah, he gets a good hand on it. Unfortunately, it's a bit too much power, too close. And um, oh, two shots on, two shots at goal. A goal. Palace have rode the storm and they come forward again. Humphreys does well to win it back, and now Haig, who struck the crossbar from a free kick earlier, comes inside. Haig shoots, and he struck the post once again. Three times now, Chelsea have hit the woodwork. This time, the very outside of the Palace goal. Steele completes the clearance. Back in, back now, in. Well done. Victor Akinwale doing really well, well there to hold the ball up. And no sympathy from the referee, despite the appeals from the bench. Rooney in there. And now he's done well really done, referee. well. Well done, referee. Here comes Finn Mooney. He has options right and left. Instead, he decides to shoot himself. Keepers parried it, and Omilabu just wasn't quite there as it trickles out for a corner. Well, Gilchrist trots into the box. He scored a really powerful header against West Ham United not long ago. He's a threat in the air as Webster delivers the ball in. It does go towards Joe Whitworth. He does get down low, and eventually there wasn't too much power on the effort. And you've got to get bodies in the box. Here we go, should block this in. This should, this should not be getting out that easy. They Can hear Paddy shouting, too easy. Well, they have found space here, and Silco Thomas can try and take on oh. Adoramola. He's got pace. He cuts back inside onto his left foot, Thomas, and he does shoot. It's deflected, and it goes oh. all the way in. Goodness. And from one end to the other, Chelsea equalise. Silco Thomas cuts onto his left foot, bottom corner, and it's Crystal Palace 1, Chelsea 1. Well... Right, one on one here. I think I think he's got his his hands forward. Teo, he allows him to come in. Now he's got a problem because he's on his left, and that's where he wants to get. So from from my perspective, I think Teo got to do better there. Here's How does he get out Thomas. of there? Once again, he's found space on the right to release Brooking, and Brooking does well to come inside. He has Thomas ahead of him. Just managed to get a foot in there, Palace, but Thomas can pick it up once again on the edge of the area. Careful to turn. Turns well, gets the cross in towards the far post, and it's headed back across goal. Touchdown, can he make space for the shot here, Haig? Steele does well to get out to him. Haig gets one off, wow. and he does hit the crossbar again. It comes out to Thomas, Aiden. and it's a Aiden. miscued volley, Aiden. and Palace survive, but for the fourth time. Touch, um, touch, touch. Here's Cadogan. Again, does well to bring it down. He's come away with the ball here. Cadogan, Adaramola oh, on the left, penalty. goes down. And the referee points to the spot. And with five minutes to go, Crystal Palace have a golden opportunity to take the lead once again. Wow. Well done, Malik. This is a late challenge. I think it's their substitute number 16. Is it, is it uh, Dion Rankin? Don't want to do him a disservice if it isn't, but he looks like a reacts a bit sort of last minute. Ted Curd tries to stand tall in the Chelsea goal. As Omalabu stares him down. 
And this is the chance for Palace. Omilabu scores. Well done. Palace 2, Chelsea 1. David Omilabu gets his second of the game, this time from the penalty spot. And with just five minutes to go, Palace could be on the verge of another huge win here at under-18 level. Well, two goals for David Amalabu. Um, nice and tidy, took his time. It's always good to send the goalkeeper the wrong way. And um, I know what people say, 75% of penalties are scored, but it boils down to nerve. Mm. Throw taken quickly. Here's Webster. Cross field, and now there's oh, space careful. on the right-hand side. He's got in behind Adaramola here. The cross can come in. It's towards what a save. Joe Whitworth, who somehow held onto the ball. It looked like it was far too close for him to do anything but parry that out. And the referee blows for full time. Palace win late on, and they complete a league double over Chelsea in the under-18s Premier League South. They go three points clear of Fulham at the top of the league. And this result not only important for their league position, but a huge confidence boost as we enter the business end of the season. Chelsea hit the crossbar, they hit the post, but David Omelabu scored twice, the second from penalty with just five minutes to go. And it ends Crystal Palace 2, Chelsea 1.